Humumu Math and Science, where we upload a new math or science video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about calculating the perimeter and area of triangles and rectangles. Okay, the perimeter is what you do for that is it is the distance around the outside of the figure. You add, and I'll write in add here, you add all of the sides together. The area of a rectangle is found, let me write out rectangle, is found by multiplying the length and the width. Okay, so let's go ahead and work a couple of example problems. First, what is the perimeter of the triangle? And this goes right here. So I add this side plus this side plus the third side. So let me go ahead and add, and this goes right here. My picture didn't turn out very well. Is we have 3y plus 5x plus 2x plus y. Okay, now equals the perimeter, and I'll write p. Okay, what do we do at this point? Well, what you can do is you can combine like terms. So to help you see like terms, I'll go ahead and put a box around the y's, and I'll put a circle around the x's so you can see the like terms. And so now I just add the boxes and the circles together. So I'm going to have 5x plus 2x, and that's 7x, and then I have 3y plus y, and that equals 4y. So the perimeter would be 4x plus y. Again, I added the three sides. I have I added the like terms, and there it is. Now, um, let's move to another one with a rectangle in it. And here's the rectangle, and it says, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? Again, my drawing is off a little bit. We have 11d plus 5. But if what do I do? I don't have a number on each side. Well, this can't be a 5 down here. I'm sorry. That was a mistake. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead. And we know with a rectangle, the two opposite sides are equal. So we can fill in an 11d here, and we can move this 5 to the other side. So now we have four numbers to add. So I'll go 11d plus 5, and I'll just go in this direction. 11d plus 5 plus 11d plus 5. And again, we can combine like terms, and I'll go ahead and put a box around the like terms. Okay, So we can add the circles, which are the 5s, which is 10, plus we have 11d plus 11d, which is 22 Okay, so that would be the perimeter. Now, what about the area of this same box? What about the area? Well, we know that the area, we multiply them. So we multiply 11d times 5, and that gives you a grand total of 55d. Okay, and finally, let's work one more, and that is what is the perimeter of this square okay um, so what we're going to do is you know that we need to add the four sides well a square has equal sides so I can go ahead and add this to each side so now I have 8v plus 5 plus 8v plus 5 so I'll write that out because the perimeter is adding the four sides together so let's do that so we have 8v plus 5 plus 8v plus 5 plus 8v plus 5 plus 8v plus 5. Again, I'm going to like terms. I'm doing this quickly now. And then we'll put a check by the others. So now that is 8v plus 8v plus 8v plus 8v. But I can do something differently. Instead of doing that, I can go ahead and write it into a formula. Okay, and now I just know, instead of having to add these numbers, I can just put it in parentheses, so I now have 4 times 8, which is 32v plus 4 times 
5 is 20. Okay? Now you could add these and get the same thing, but that speeds up the process. I hope that helps with finding the perimeter and area of a rectangle and triangle. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.